welcome to Ferrari Wimslow, aka Ferrari Manchester. Today is a very slightly different take on the normal videos I give you. Rather than driving a car, we're going to be specking one. Today is my first look into a potential spec of how my 812 Superfast might look. I've still got to wait 12 months before the car arrives, maybe longer. So this is just an insight into what it's like specking a brand new Ferrari. Before I started this blog, I actually wrote about it and lots of people were very interested in it. And often I read your comments and you want to see what it's like to actually spec it. Now it normally takes several hours, maybe four hours, and there's days and days of planning and backwards and forwards. So that's not what's going to happen today. But I just wanted to give you an insight into what it's like for the very first time to sit down and speculate as to what your spec might be. So we're going to go inside. We're going to speak with my buddy Dave Richards, who you might have seen on the channel from day one, who did the handover with my first speciali, and then uh, see what this 812 is all about. And I want your feedback as well. That's really important to me. I want to get you guys involved in it. Send me spec ideas. I want to hear anything. So without further ado, let's head inside, check out this 812. Been back and forth on this a lot. <laughs> As you can imagine. I can imagine. You can imagine. I can imagine. I can imagine. Um, I tend to spec a car for what suits the car, not necessarily the colour I like. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, no, I agree. I just haven't seen a, a red yet that suits this car. But what sort of lead time are we thinking on this car? Maybe uh, like eighteen months ish. Yeah, we think we're going to see like the that. first car probably yeah. in May of next year. Okay. So I think we're going to be looking realistically first or second quarter of two thousand and. 19. 19. Yeah. Okay. So plenty of time to change my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for, for sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, for sure. Cool, cool, cool. cool. And so, you know, who knows? You know, you, yeah. you will probably you'll start to see other cars. There are there are a handful of these in Europe already. Yeah. The UK hasn't had any cars yet. Sure. Our dealer demo is due to arrive probably in six weeks' time. Okay. So. Um, okay. Sure. So I'm I'm kind of split between a variation of darker blue, so a TDF. Type of blue, or maybe okay. maybe slightly lighter than that, so, or a silver yeah, of sorts. So TDF blue. So that looks good. It doesn't uh, look bad. It's, I do like that. It's a colour that Ferrari yeah. have used for years. It's yeah. a historical colour. It's quite an iconic. Okay. When you start going to the greys, you've got yeah. a Grigio Ferro, which yes. is an okay colour. Okay. I mean, what, one of my favourites is titanium. Uh huh. I think that's a nice colour. That is nice. It really yeah. shows the lines. Dark wheels, doesn't it? Yeah, dark wheels. That's I think that wheels. style of wheel yeah. is actually a great wheel. So this is from the, the TDF. Mm -hmm. So it's a TDF racing wheel. Yeah. This doesn't show a dark grey colour. It shows a black colour. I believe the TDF wheel as well is a lighter weight. It is, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's a forged wheel, so slightly yeah. lighter. A few options. So carbon fibre. I'm yes. assuming you're gonna you're gonna want This is where it can get a bit out of hand, but yeah. let's take what we think. Let's, what we, we'll, uh, let's, let's work backwards yeah. from where we end up. <laughs> so the, the front wing in carbon, yes. I, I would say yes. Front so wing this section sure. here. Yep. So the box. Cool. So that's some carbon. Okay. The rear underdoor cover, which is this. So normally mm, it's gonna be a, to sill, as it were. Yeah. Yeah. So it's black plastic. Sure. I'll be tempted. Have you seen them in carbon? Yes. I'll be tempted yeah. to put those in carbon. This car at Frankfurt was, I mean, it was loaded, you know, I mean, the guy just went, what, every box. But as a result, you could really see the bits that, like, if you were only to select certain things, you could see the stuff which is important, as yeah. it were. Yeah. You know, just, you don't want a big piece of plastic on the outside of your car. <laughs> so, on something like this, yeah. I don't think there's any place for black plastic. No. Well, That's how they get you. So they put all the plastic they, they on and they go, <laughs> we know he's going to spec that car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to ask these guys what they think about. Okay, so if you look at the back of the 812, yeah, there's the diffuser. this diffuser here, which is currently painted in silver in the sort of matching body color. You can also have it in a carbon fiber splitter, which we'll show you now. What do we think about that? I, I'm not sure. On the, on the screen, I don't think it shows up the contours as well as it might do in real life. No, it, it's difficult to see from here. Yeah. Um, having seen the car in yeah. Italy last week, my opinion was picture. to um, to leave it body coloured. 
Okay. Because I think it enhances the back of the car. So this is where so you need to go and see, off again. see a factory spec. So without carbon. So that's without carbon, and I've got a that's a a shot that I've got with carbon from the actual show car. Again. All right, interior colours. Let me just change the view on this. I'll go to the interior. Those seats for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So that is the the new style racing seat for yes. the 812. Colour-wise, so the colour that you're so thinking, then that's oh no, that like that. that's it nice. Is. That. So that's Cuyo. So that's, that's the colour that you have there. So that is this. Yeah. Which the Roco stitching-wise, are you going to want some form of dark silver stitch to complement the exterior of the car? We could change it to the Grigio Charo, which is light grey. Okay. What's the darker grey? Or you like? could have the Grigio Scuro, which is dark grey. So Grigio Scuro. So that gives you an idea of what the stitch is going to look like on there. That's pretty cool. Quite quite classy, and that should match the exterior of the car. Yeah. Good job. Good job. We've got lots of time to think about this. I'll probably <laughs> yeah, change yeah. my mind twelve times. No. And again, what would be, what would be great to do? We've got loads of time to yeah. go to go to Italy. Yeah. To do the Italy at the factory. Um, probably leave it a few months That'd because be right. then there'll be That'd more be cars cool. coming through, of course, uh, and you'll yeah. have a, a greater array, you know, greater yeah. array car. More options will be available sure. on the car now. Yeah. Last week we were quite limited to the number yeah. of options that we had. I suppose next year it'd be really good to walk down the production line and see loads of different specs. Actually, to get it's, it's an ideas. awesome thing to do. Yeah, just to do it, just to spec up your own car. Yeah, right. in Italy yeah. at the factory. It's it's, it's an awesome cool. thing to do. Yeah, I, for me, I yeah. can't think of anything better that I would like to do. No, I bet, to yeah. spec up my own Ferrari, it'd no, be, be stunning. So, so coloured in a detail, in what Alcantara. So let's click on that. So that is, if I put it in a an obscure colour first of all, so you can see what it is. So that is the stripe on the seat, okay. and just a little piece around here. Oh, okay, interesting. Oh, oh and the stripe on the dash, I believe they've got a central stripe, right. haven't they? Yeah, that. And also that. And that's it. And okay. The, yeah. Change it back to here. What we have: high power hi-fi, and then the passenger display, which I think is that's quite nice. cool. Really, that's for sure. You gotta have that. So you know, say you want them to set up the sat nav for you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The, yeah, yeah. Change the, yeah. the track. Or like yeah, that. I think on the four eight eight, it will just show you the gear that you're in. Um, you know the, the the speed that you're doing, the revs that you're doing, and that's it. Sure. So it really was just for show. Whereas now on the newer models, the GTC Russos yes. and the A12 Superfast, they are interactive. Yeah. Actual interactive. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, I think it's nice. I mean, you know, this this stage for me is very much more setting a theme. Yeah. You know, I mean, this can take hours and hours and hours. I like getting the audience involved. I like yeah. getting these guys involved, getting inputs, thoughts, because they generally come up with some great stuff and. And yeah, I ended up getting that pictures that sent to me and all sorts of stuff, and I'm like, you know what, that looks brilliant, that looks cool. Yeah. And I've never shared what it's like to spec a car. Now, okay. can't, we could be sitting all, here all day. Um, and this, this could be several different settings. Several different, months. Over it's a 12 month period, yeah, just to sure. get it right. Just to get it right. Little yeah. fine tweaks, yeah. and then as the factory introduced more options, uh, exactly. or, or somebody has something yeah. personalised or taken yeah, away, sure. it gives you and different And you'll see ideas. something on Instagram and I'll be like, Dave, I've seen something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the idea is I'm going to be taking these guys along for the whole journey, give them a full yeah, insight. Cool. Um, awesome. Okay, so that's that's the first theme idea. Leave your comments. I want to leave your comments below. Anything you think we should try? We've got what twelve months until spec lock, something yeah. like that. Yeah. So yeah, plenty of time to try things. I think it'll be interesting, yeah. man. It'd be good it'll to hear people's thoughts. Actually. It will be interesting. Yeah. yeah, that's it. And we'll no doubt we'll get stuff sent on Instagram and Twitter yeah. and all sorts of stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah, Dave's going to be really busy. Really busy. <laughs> really, really busy. So there you have it. That was, yeah, I mean, it. as I mentioned when I started, you could spend hours on these things. What's going to be really interesting is some point next year, we're going to go to the factory and do an actual spec lock-in there. Uh, before I go, I just want to show you this uh, 599 SA Aperta that these guys just so casually have back here. I think they made 80 of these cars. There was only six right-hand drives, and this is one of them. Unbelievable, I think it's valued at around about two million pounds, sir. Anyway, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Leave your comments below with regards to 812 Superfast Spec. I'll see you next time. Ciao.